My friends, we got quite a bit done yesterday, but not nearly as much as I wanted to, and that's kind of the way every day goes around here. And the weather has gotten cold again. I'll tell you about all of it right after this. Hello my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. It is Thursday, April 6th, which reminds me that tomorrow we will have our shop talk at 8 o'clock my time. And if you have questions, comments, or topics you'd like me to discuss tomorrow, just put those in the comments of today's video and we will get to those. Be sure to start your question, comment, or whatever with question marks at the front of the question. That way I'll know it's intended to be in the shop talk tomorrow. I had a pretty productive day yesterday, but I didn't make it to the sawmill. I wanted to get that done yesterday and I didn't get there. Well, what happened was after you saw the video of Mitzi picking her mandolin yesterday, well then uh, she asked me to uh, do a setup on that mandolin. So I did a full setup, including a deer antler saddle, you know, new strings of course, and you know, set the action, the intonation, the whole bit and got it working up really, really nice for her. Had to do quite a bit of leveling on the frets. The frets were a little bit out. That's a really good sounding Eastman mandolin. And I, I stand by what I've said all along that the Eastman mandolins are about the best, um, you know, off the shelf mandolins you can buy these days, in my opinion. I don't know uh, price wise how they compare because I don't buy them. But on the other hand, uh, I, I see them come through the shop all the time and they're really good mandolins. So I would recommend that uh, if you're in the market for a mandolin that you look into the Eastman line. And uh, my good buddies down there at the acoustic shop in Springfield can help you out with that. They're uh, Eastman dealers and I know Eastman products also. So uh, give the guys down there at the acoustic shop a call in Springfield, Missouri. It was like 34 this morning when I looked at the thermometer. Might have got colder than that overnight. Uh, at least the sun looks like it's trying to poke out today. That might warm things back up. You know, we might as well live in Canada if we're going to have Canada weather. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just crazy to be this far south in Missouri and have just, it just seems like it's just winter all year long almost. And skipping around here, but then, you know, after I got done with her mandolin set up, then she brought out a guitar. And uh, so I set up her guitar. I didn't film the guitar, I probably should have, but we were running tight on time and she was wanting to get back on the road because she, she just lives like 40 miles south of Chicago. So she had a long drive to get back home. So I set up her guitar. To, you know, I always say you can throw a dog through there. Well, she said you can throw an elephant through here. <laughs> <laughs> and she was right. It was really high. It was twice as high at the nut as it needed to be and about 30 or 40 thousandths too high back at the uh, 12th fret area. So I had to take a lot off the saddle and quite a bit off the uh, grooves on the nut there to get the action to play really well. But I think I think she was really happy and it was like having a different guitar after that. And it was a handmade guitar I, of which one I can't remember. It was a nicely made guitar. So I know she's got to be happy with that. Then I tried to go mushroom hunting for a few minutes and I forgot that Cash was coming for his lesson. So I had to rush back here to the shop and we worked uh, with Cash on uh, some more singing, timing, playing issues. And Cash recorded the song that I'm going to play for Easter Sunday. I had him do it and he sang it and played it all by himself. I didn't help him at all and I think you'll enjoy it. He did a really nice job. Uh, the boy has improved immensely and I'm tr working with him now on the finer details. You know, I keep throwing stuff at him that he keeps going like, it, it, like he's overwhelmed. Like I, I, I kind of thought I was, you know, where I needed to be, you know, and I keep saying, well, you're just on your way, buddy. <laughs> there's a lot more to it. And I tried to impress on him too, that no matter how good you get, there's always somebody better out there. You know, I don't care how good you think you are. Uh, I guarantee you there'll be somebody step up that can do whatever you're doing just a little bit better. You know, that's just kind of the way it is in, especially in music. Oh, in other news, I'm hanging in there at 15 pounds weight loss since the first of the year. Every once in a while I'll hit 16 pounds, but I kind of keep hovering between 15 and 16 pounds weight loss. I, I need to lose about another 
15 or 20 and I'll be happy. That's where I'm headed and I'm going to stick with it till I get there. On other news on my finger, uh, you know, I've been keeping it bandaged and I keep the Neosporin on it and uh, quite honestly, it doesn't really give me any pain and it's, it's doing better every day. It really doesn't look too bad now. I could show it to you now and you wouldn't be too grossed out now, but on day one, <laughs> you might have been a little grossed out. <laughs> It, it didn't look too good. And I was really worried about it on day one, but fortunately, I, because I've been keeping the Neosporin on it and the uh, bandage on it, it's uh, healing up fairly quickly. So I think the danger has passed on infection or anything like that. I think it's going to be just fine. Hopefully I'll be able to get out there on the sawmill today and finish that up, although it is kind of cold and I'm really not looking forward to working out you know, kind of in that open area there. Hopefully it'll warm up at least up into the 50s or something so it's not so bad. You know, when you're working on all that uh, solid steel as in that sawmill, it gets kind of cold <laughs> when it's down in the 30s, you know. Well, anyway, that's going to be it for today. If you uh, enjoy my videos, please give me a thumbs up. And be sure to put your questions, comments, and topics in today's video and we will discuss those tomorrow on Shop Talk, 8 o'clock my time. Be there or be square, as they say. We'll see you then. Thank you.